Everyone's talking about it. Wait, DLSS 4 works on RTX 2000 series, but FSR doesn't work on RX 7000. What the hell, AMD? I get it, it feels unfair, but if you're expecting this to be some lazy anti-consumer move from AMD, you're wrong, because what's actually going on here is way deeper. It's about AI hardware, FP8 instructions and the limits of what pure software can do. By the end of this video, you're either going to stop blaming AMD or you will at least blame them for the right reasons. Let's rewind the bit. FSR started simple, from version 1.0 to 3.1. It was a software-only solution, no AI, no dedicated hardware, just upscaling and later frame generation done through compute shaders. And it worked! FSR 1, fast. FSR 2, clean enough. FSR 3, now we're talking frame generation finally on AMD. But here's the real win. It worked on basically everything. RX 480 from 2016 runs FSR, GTX 1080 Ti, too old for DLSS, but runs FSR free, frame gen if you want it. Even Nvidia and Intel users could benefit from AMD's tech. FSR was about accessibility. You had an older card, AMD had your back, and that made people root for them. But eventually, that approach hit the wall because while AMD was making sure everyone could run FSR, Nvidia dropped DLSS free with machine learning, frame gen, and real time interface. And just like that, software only started to look outdated. So, AMD reacted. They started building FSR 4 and for the first time they said this won't be pure software solution. FSR 4 uses machine learning. Real AI, it requires dedicated AI cores, something AMD include in RX 7000 and RX 9000 series GPU. But there's a catch. Even to RX 7000 has AI cores, they're slow. And FSR 4 isn't just any ML model. It's built for FP8. Precision. Guess what? RX 7000 doesn't support. Yeah, a floating point 8. So, if AMD wants to run FSR 4 on RX 7000 series, they would have to convert everything to floating point 16. And that hits performance hard. Will it work? Maybe. But will it be fast? Will it look good? Will it be worth it? That's what AMD is unsure about. And that's why, as of right now, FSR 4 is RX 9000 only. Here's the hard truth no one wants to hear. You can't have it all. You can't have the cutting edge AI power, the image quality, and also expect support for 7 years old GPUs with no dedicated acceleration. There's a limit to what software alone can do. FSR 3.1 was that limit. So now, AMD has a choice, keep making software that runs everywhere but looks outdated, or push forward with real AI and leave some GPUs behind. And let's be honest, we have all asked AMDs to catch up with the DLSS as well, this is what catching up looks like. It means making hard choice, and that's what FSR 4 is, AMD's moment of saying, ok, now we move forward. You heard it, maybe even said it, but DLSS 4 works on RTX 2000 cards, so why can't AMD do that too? Let's talk about that. DLSS 1 didn't run on GTX 1080 Ti, even though that card was a monster. Ray tracing not supported. DLSS 3 RTX 4000 only. Multi frame generation is DLSS 4 RTX 5000 only. Nvidia has been cutting off all generations since 2018. They just do it with a smile and good PR. So don't act shocked when AMD does the same. They waited years before going this route. And now that they finally need AI cores, people are losing it. It's selective memory, let's be real. Here's where it gets technical, but stick with me. FSR 4 was built for FP8. RX 9000 has true FP8 support and fast AI cores. RX 7000, no FP8 slower cores, so AMD would have to convert the model to FP16, which eats up memory, bandwidth and compute cycles. It's like forcing a Ferrari engine into go-kart. It will move, sure, but should it? That's what AMD waiting eternally. Do they burn months of dev time to give RX 7000 users a slower, junkier version of, F of FSR 4 or focus on making FSR 4 even better for their next-gen cards? There's no clean answer, but that's why they have been vague. Let's not act like this is new, and we left the GTX 1000 series behind for ray tracing. Then again with DLSS, then again with frame generation, then again with multi frame generation. Each time people complained. Then they absolutely forgot. And now AMD is doing it once, just once, and suddenly it's betrayal. Come on, you're smarter than that. This is just how 
progress works. But here's the twist, their companies aren't the real problem, we are. You can say Nvidia sucks and then go out and buy an RTX 5070. You can't say I want open standards and then ignore FSR when it's available. Vote with your wallet or stop pretending you're upset. Because when companies see that bad behavior makes sales, they copy it. They all do. AMD, Nvidia, Intel, none of them are your friends. They just watch what you do, not what you say. So here's the deal. FSR 4 is real. It's powerful and it looks amazing, but it needs AI. It needs new hardware. And yeah, it's living some GPUs behind. But that's the cost of moving forward. You can't expect cutting edge machine learning performance on a card from 2018. And honestly, if AMD really wants to compete long term, this was the right move. You may not like it, but now you know why. Drop your thoughts in comments, let's hear where you stand and if you're still confused, rewind this video. Everything's there.